we got the Orlando Magic versus the all-time Indiana Pacers. This Pacers squad is, is really weird. I mean, <laughs> Reggie Miller, Paul George uh, have moved around positions. They've, they've you know, it's a weird, weird time for the Pacers. Also, for the Magic, I mean, this starting five, you would think would be Oop City. And just for whatever reason, it isn't. I don't know. Their chemistry just isn't there. Whatever it is, it's just not working out for them. They haven't made the playoffs in the past couple of seasons. And a lot of that's due to their bench. They haven't had a good bench. This year, their bench has looked better than it ever has before. But they still are lacking. Um, meanwhile, the Pacers, their team has looked better than they ever have before. But I think for them, it's a chemistry issue getting the right guys in the right places. They're still figuring out their lineup um, seasons into this. So, you know, they, they, they're they kind of like, they feel like they're a year or two behind everybody um, coming into this match. But both of these teams are one and one. Let's see if we can get the dub. It's 2K Sports bringing you live coverage of the NBA. He's one and one. Sunday night broadcast. Orlando Magic versus the one and one Indiana Pacers. Brian Anderson. At home, though. Oh, but it's the Orlando Magic facing the Indiana Pacers. Any Hardaway couldn't make him pay for that. That was a back court. Dwight Howard, and it's Hill in a small forward. Dang close. Here's Bosh. Hits the trifecta. Yeah, you got uh, Penny Hardaway, Tracy McGrady, Grant Hill, Dwight Howard, and Shaquille O'Neal. The lineup that you would think would be Oop City. You would think that they would, their chemistry would they just be clicking, you know. Haven't been able to make the playoffs the past few seasons. Pacers, uh, though, the team. George outside. Uh, starting to get back into their bag. They were running this cheeky little play the first season, and they they were actually playoff bound the first season until about halfway through maybe the all-star break where they just went on a tremendous so losing, losing streak. Like It was like one of those things where mathematically if they lose all of their games to be out of the playoffs, they managed to do it. <laughs> um, and so they haven't made the playoffs. Impressive you know, looks on the AT&T 5G slash. They're still getting their lineups figured out. But they had this cheeky little play where they were running this double screen that freed up. Oh, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Freed up both Reggie and Paul at the same time from beyond the arc. And Louis Bosch had his choice of who he wanted to pass the ball to, who he thought was more open. They were just killing him. Three. It was like guaranteed three points every time down the court. But then people started to figure out that play, how to defend it. And um, about a minute and a half through the first kinda, quarter, they, 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 they kind of died out. Pass to Howard. Real quick. Back to Hardaway. But, you know, from the Orlando Magic here, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about like that right it's there. Really should be Shaq on a roll. This is and exactly alley, who you, you know? want taking that shot. That's what I'm thinking. You just missed it. One thing I can say about the Orlando, I'm sorry, the Indiana Pacers is that Mel Daniels has led the league in rebounds. And there's the screen. Every year, with the exception of last one. Howard um, grabs the miss. Victor Miyama got drafted, but he's still second. Still to right behind him, so he hasn't Launches fallen three. off. He buries it from three. And, you know, I think this is exactly what you want Howard to do. I mean, when somebody's open, but, uh, ooh, show ooh, that Reggie, you oh, give the ball. No, the, oh, oh, Reggie. He just brings a great for the game at the offensive end. That's what happens when you get Reggie Moore with the green light. That's, oh, that's buckets, but it wasn't. Hardaway. I mean, look at oh, George getting out there for the defense. From deep. Well, you D up Hardaway Penny Hardaway is still able to make him pay. Guys really good at scoring uh, Reggie up again. Oh, no, down. don't do it to him, Reggie. <laughs> Yo, he's just that's shooting six. everything. Oh, another lead at change. will. Six total in the first half. And this is the battle we were hoping this to man see. shooting at will. Inside. Oh yeah, Shaq on Shaq. Shaq look, look, look at him drawing the double. Again, Lewis Boss was really just this is where you let motion eat. support. Actually feast. <laughs> Feed him inside and you'll get paid off for it. Look at this. Oh, Reggie Here's Miller Bosch. coming to set the screen and Bosch with the outside shot. Orlando leading. 
couldn't get it to go. First quarter of action, just under three and a half Ooh, minutes played. She's short and stout. That's what Hardaway, the pass to oh, Howard. Oh, oh, this is a bucket. Here's Jack right here, yeah. Mock. I saw that from a mile away. I was worried that they were going to get caught for the three-second violation. He must have just been on tip. Oh, oh. Mel Daniels. I don't think Mel Daniels made that. I think Shaq kind of tipped that in for him. Pass to O'Neal. Down low. I'm about to say. I thought Shaq was about to pull for a second. From three. And I was like, don't. No, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Hmm. Hmm. George outside. Oh, this one oh no. McGrady grabs Grant Hill was all over him on defense, and now he's on. Oh, here for oh, he thought about it. It's Orlando. That's why it's a moment what, too. Dwight Howard is looking to make the pass. It makes he thought about driving, better. and then realized people were there. Like, right, I'm, like I'm open. <laughs> Here's Bosch. Six points for him. Bonus can also stretch the floor too. He kicks it to George. Ooh. Here's the three. Nails the three. That's what happens, man. If this early scoring is White has to step out. Just a half step too far. So bonus gets a little bit of a drive. Grant Hill is caught ball watching. Has we thinking about playing help D, and then Paul George is wide open. But oh wait a second, oh, Penny. Hardaway's got nine. That's been typical Any. of their performance today. Usually dropping down the today's and creating and receiving shots. them. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual oh, play at the big. other end. Oh, I'm yeah, surprised he didn't shoot that from three. Well, he hasn't put up any points I'm yet. I'm surprised he didn't one. rise up and fire. For that, he, I think he's got potential. Oh, that's deep, deep. The shot off By saying that, if that yeah, went, if that's one of those shots with that. If that goes, Lando's winning this. To Daniels. Ooh, Mel. Mel maybe isn't the matchup you want here. Ooh, there we go, though. And again, it's the Paul George. The They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now, here's Hardaway. Ooh. He's got nine. Count it. He's got 11. And he's carried them this quarter. Eight. A dominant offensive stretch. Yeah, basically Indiana calls timeout. Calls that. timeout. And something fans don't always get to the see. The here. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that You got to get together. Like, yo, how are we going to defend Penny Hardaway? If you're Orlando, be just a slight tweak. you got to be like, yo, we got to get out there. We need shots. We got to get it out beyond the arc. The arc these guys. Sabonis outside. Let him get two. You know? Better than Miller him three. I mean, look at that. Reggie. Reggie Miller. The disrespect. Got to do a better job contesting. The disrespect really He's true. covered closely. It's rebounded by Indiana. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Here's Miller. He's got Reggie. Yo, why isn't Sabonis trying to take that shot, man? He's wide open. Hey. Still making him pay down low, though. points if he converts the free throw. The Pacers making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pacers. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and Ooh. racking up the points, too. Ooh. Oh, man, Penny. Penny has Lewis Bosch. Lewis Bosch on states. And now you give it to T-Mac. Oh, so he can do this. Aim to Miller. Now they're fiddling at this point. Uh oh and Grant Hill. Sinks it from distance. All that showmanship had all five sets of eyes for the Pacers. Penny and Tracy McGrady. Ooh. Reggie Miller. Miller can't get it to go. And Orlando has eyes were on them, and then Grant Hill slips out from beyond the arc. And here's Howard. It's he. Pass to McGrady. Mm. And again, yeah, Lewis. <laughs> Basically, was not even there defensively. I know it's early, but you have to so short. T Mac just rose up, for sure. fired over. Crowd pleasing already. Here's oh, Miller. He wanted that. Oh, Shaq with the interception. Shaq pushing the pace to T Mac. Fading no three. three. Couldn't get it to go, though. Oh, too early. Pass to Miller. He understands the importance of three over two. 
Here's the pick. He understands that you let, you let him drive in. You don't let him shoot through down here. Reggie. Well, points for him. He's made what four threes? Picking up steam as he goes. And he's going for the lob. Oh, the lob oh, You've got to keep a body on him, Neil. I know it's easier oh, said than done. Oh my goodness. He's going to eat you Yeah, that's another timeout right there. I'm called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. All right, so now you've been defending Penny, but now you're seeing that loop central right there. What are you going to do for the Pacers? They're going to sub everybody out. You got Mel Granger, you got O. Oh. Everybody's out basically, but Reggie Miller, who's been on fire up to this turnover just now. Out left to the wing. And then for the Magic, you got everybody in. Mendez. Uh, Here's Nelson. Their their most recent draft too. Here's Black. They think has a lot of potential. Distance. And it's a six-point Magic lead. And <laughs> they've got the D really a full now we got attack it. right off the tip. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Old squad Here's here. O'Neal looking for his first so basket. They still would in love to get Reggie a bucket here. I think another Wallace. bucket really puts Six him in take the take really good. Ooh. And they come right back Ooh. with their own three-pointer. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes is back that, and yeah, forth. Yeah, take the like answering back. One team gets three, you buy oh, three of your own. Boom. He was in the starting line before the match. Now here. he's on the bench. It's a three-point game. Because they're, they're kind of shifting personnel. Again, this Pacers squad. Pass to O'Neal. Might be Wallace. more and more deadly. Every Screen single year. Especially off the bench. Oh, Chuck Person? Three? The Pacers from deep. The rifleman Chuck Person shoots a consistent okay. percentage from the three-point line. He's a sniper now. Oh, wow. Did you see him? He got fully turned around. Yeah, you know, you're Nelson. You want that opportunity back. <laughs> Take advantage of that. From the wing. Bob Burke. No good there. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Tied up. 35 long. Two teams have a chance to go above 500 here. Only one hand. Here's Granger. Oh, Granger from three. On the step back. Game to the left. Maybe threes. You know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Oladipo's mm. checked in for Indiana. The Pacers have found themselves down most Orlando of this trailing here. first quarter. But they just have kept going with the three is greater than two mentality, and finally it's paying off. He's guarded by Oladipo. Because they've been able to work themselves open from beyond the arc, and now... I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. After starting five on the floor, oh, what a this is where the you know, Orlando Magic team is really, really susceptible at that end. Excellent game plan. to having leads vanish and Back to Oladipo. having games get out of hand. It's when their bench is on the floor. No, they fouled him. Oh, they this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good Wait, clean open looks. Is that a foul on Jermaine O'Neal? They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. I couldn't engaged. see that foul was on. And the shot goes in. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Demir Nelson, yeah, did absolutely ball out for them to get their one win. If you're the Orlando Magic, the you need quarter. your bench. To do well for you, Granger. I mean, your starters are the uh, good at creating. So far, they've had the advantage. I mean, they're good at punishing people, but yeah, nothing major, not a huge, you know, advantage, but certainly a good sign. You need your bench to step up. This isn't about five. Here's Nelson. This is about everybody, Burks, right? From 20 Ooh, feet, nice little bounce pass. Miss. He's 0 for 2 now. Indiana leading. Nothing happened with it though. Here's Wallace. Takes a three. Oh. I'm about to say if that Carter. goes. That's crazy. Three seconds here. Can't get it to go. They find themselves up four at home. Their bench came out and did what they were supposed to. Magic not liking that. We'll see how it goes. I think the Pacers probably end up with the dub here, but, I, you know, been wrong pretty much every other matchup this video. It. So let's, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Magic end up getting the six point win. It's a narrow, narrow margin, you know, narrow margin for them. Um, they come back a little bit down one at half. Uh, oh, and then I mean, this is another eight points here. So they're up nine going into the fourth quarter and just couldn't get anything to drop.
their worst quarter of the night by far is what cost them the game at the very end. Magic, and let me let me actually see in the second half. I mean, seven of their 16 free throw attempts came in the fourth quarter. So you can tell that, the, oh, sorry, seven of the 22. But it's still, I mean, you can tell that they really picked up the pace in the fourth there. Um, and honestly, they outshot them from the three as well, like percentage-wise. So the Pacers must have just really fell off. I mean, they out-rebound them and everything. Reggie had 25 with 7 of 10 from beyond the arc, so you know it wasn't him. Paul George was 3 of 6 with 21 points. Lewis Bosch, 2 of 6, not really ideal. Um, same with you know Carson Wallace, 2 of 6, not very ideal. You know, a 6-point margin of victory if each of them make one more 3-pointer. You know, that's it's a tie game. Who knows how, to, how, how you know, where it falls once it goes into OT. Um, and a lot of, honestly, good good stats from these guys. But, like, defensively, right? Paul George with two steals, Mel Daniels with three steals. That's really about it. Um, defensively is where they're weakest. Offensively, they, they're honestly pretty okay. I mean, you want a few more guys to just be a little bit more efficient. And they'd have found themselves with a strong dub today. Meanwhile, Jack gonna shack. 27 points, four blocks. Penny had 24 points, 11 assists. Grant Hill had 22 points, nine rebounds. Trace McGrady had a double double as well. Dwight Howard had a double double. So, three people with double doubles, and Dwight had three blocks. So, you knew defensively down low, they were just menacing. And then also, as well, Wendell Carter had a double double. So, you had four people or three people with a double double on the night. You know, so when you got people off the bench getting double doubles, you know, stuff is really clicking for you. 